Hello, everyone. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I am Daniel Gittemel. Over there is John Lewandowski. Um, if John does sound like he's under the weather, uh, John is has COVID. His him and uh, Steph have COVID. So, the current moment, why he has well, not been around um there's also the reason why we didn't do it a video yesterday there's just i was exhausted from personal stuff and this has been beating him down so um let's just get into this the quicker we get into it the better off we are all right so today the washington capitals took on the nashville predators Shots on goal in the first period. Washington outshoots Nashville 13 to 11. In the second period, Nashville outshoots Washington 13 to 4. In the third period, both teams had 10 shots. In over team, both over team, over time, both teams had two shots. In total, Nashville outshoots Washington 36 29. Now, Nashville was Quite a bit better on the face-off circle at 60.7% to Washington's 39.3%. On the power play, Nashville goes 1 for 2 with 13 penalty minutes, while Washington goes 0 for 3 with 11 penalty minutes. <clears throat> Nashville out-hit Washington 23-18. to 18. Washington out-blocked Nashville 21-17. to 17. Um. Washington had 13 giveaways to Nashville's nine. Washington had seven takeaways to Nashville's six. Um, scoring in the first period for the Predators is Luke Evangelista scoring his fifth of the year, assisted by Dante Fabro, his sixth, and Tommy Novak, his 11th. That was at the 244 mark. Then at the 6.55 mark, Roman Yossi scores a power play goal, assisted by Nyquist, his 19th, and O'Reilly, his 16th. Then at the 10.25 mark for Washington, Malenstein scores his third of the year, assisted by Dowd, his second, and Van Riemsdyk, his sixth. In the second period, Alex Ovechkin gets his seventh with an assist from Dylan Strobe, his eighth, and Anthony Protus, his 15th. Uh, that will do it for the regulation game. Um, no scoring in the third, no scoring in overtime. So we go to a shootout. Shooting first was the Washington Capitals with Evgeny Kuznetsov with no goal. Gustav Dyquist for the Preds was up. And he scored, uh, Alex Ovechkin. Um, he he got stopped as well, and Ryan O'Reilly put it away. So the Preds beat the Capitals three to two in a shootout, and Yaroslav Yaroslav wins his first NHL game in a shootout, stopping two of the. Premier Russian players in a shootout. You yep. So I gave him credit. Um, three stars of the game. Third star of the game was was Alexander Ovechkin with a goal. Third star of the game was Hunter Shepard stopping. Uh, he had a save percentage of uh, ninety four point four with a one point eight five goals against average. Well, Yaroslav Iskarov. Stop everything he saw in the shootout and stop 26. Wait, how is that right? <coughs> they had 29 shots on that and he stopped 26. It's not right. Yeah, 27 of 29. 31, 30, 93.1 on the save percentage. 
So your people who wrote your recap, Askarov stops 26. It's actually 27. So Preds pick up the W. On to the next game. Uh, John, I'll take stats on this one. I got you. Okay. All right. Uh, so up in this, uh, up in this game. Up next uh, for us is the Admirals versus Rockford. Um, also, uh, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention this before finishing up the last game. That ends the series. The uh, uh, Predators uh, win the series against Washington 2-0. Oh, the season series. All right. So, as I said, for the Admirals, uh, you have in the – then playing against the Rockford Ice Hogs in the first period, Rockford outshoots Milwaukee twenty to eleven. In the second period, Rockford outshoots Milwaukee fifteen to twelve. In the third period, Milwaukee outshoots Rockford nine to seven. In overtime, Milwaukee outshoots Rockford five to two, and that was not enough to do it. So let's get into the stats a little bit. Um, Rockford to in total outshoots Milwaukee forty four to. 38. Uh, Rockford goes one for three on the power play, while Milwaukee goes one for four. Rockford had eight minutes, four infractions, while Milwaukee had three infractions. <laughs> 19 minutes. Scoring in the first was Michael Temple. He scores his fourth with an assist from Jalen Lupin, his fourth, and Ryder Ralston, his third. Then Jasper Weatherby scores his third with an assist for Reed Schaefer, his fifth, and Anthony Angelo, his fifth. All right, scoring in the second at the 16.03 mark for the Admirals is Mark DelGaiso scoring his third of the year on the power play. Uh, that was assisted by Igor Afanasyev, his eighth, and Fedor Svechkov, his eighth. Then at the 17-28 mark, the Admirals score again with a goal from Jasper Weatherby, his fourth, assisted by Anthony Angelo, his sixth, and Jordan Gross, his seventh. And then at the 19-44 mark, the Admirals score again with a goal from Dennis Gurionov, his eleventh, assisted by Spencer Stasny, his seventh, and Jake Livingstone, his ninth. All right. So then you have in the third at the 128 mark was Nolan Allen scoring his first with an assist from Mike Hardman, his eighth, and Brett Sini, his 12th. Then Antti Sorelli, or Sorella gets his uh, third of the year with an assist from Michael Temple, his seventh, and Ryder Ralston, his fourth. That was at the 835 mark. And then Logan Nyhoff scores his third with a decision from Michael Temple, his eighth, and Ethan Del Maestro, or Mastro, his 13th, and that was on the power play. Shooting in the shootout. Shooting first was the Admirals with Dennis Kiriadoff, no goal. Then you have Michael Temple with a goal. Then you have Jordan Gross, goal. Andres Bjork, no goal. Igor Afanasi have goal. David Dust, no goal. Your three stars of the game were as follows. Troy Grosnick with 40 saves on 44 shots. Michael Temple with a goal and two assists. And Jasper Weatherby with two goals. Attendance at the Panther Arena was 6,843. I doubt it. It was a lot more than that. All righty, your referees were Jake Jackson and Stan Sergic, TJ Lyle and Bryce Felter as your linesmen. Um, with that win, the Admirals are within two points again of the Texas Stars. The Admirals, for the first time this season, win four in a row. With the Admirals losing Colton Dock due to... um. Well, I don't know if I'd call it a sucker punch. He did get cross-checked to the back of the neck. I'd say the dude had it coming, but I, I don't know. Uh, Kale Holworth re recalled by Rockford for tomorrow's game. It's labeled as the 31st. 
Up next, we got the Savannah Ghost Pirates facing off against the or Atlanta Gladiators. All right, shots on goal in the first. Savannah outshoots Atlanta 13 to 5. In the second, Savannah outshoots Atlanta 21 to 8. In the third, Savannah outshoots Atlanta 14 to 6. And in total, um, Savannah outshoots Atlanta 48 to 19. Savannah goes 0 for 5 on the power play with 6 minutes 3 infractions, while Atlanta goes 0 for 3 with 10 minutes 5 infractions. Um, scoring in the first at the 844 mark for Atlanta was Narvin Mutter, assisted by Jackson Pearson. Um, then at the 523 mark in the second for Savannah, uh, was Mike Ferraro assisted by Jordan Kaplan and Sebastian Vidmar. Then at the 8.59 mark for Atlanta was Cody Sylvester. Then at the 16.10 mark for Savannah was Jordan Kaplan assisted by Ross Armour. All right. Then at the third period, you have Sebastian Vidmar with, his, uh, with a goal. With an assist from Jet Jones and Mike Ferraro. Then Sebastian Vidmar scores again at the 658 mark. With an assist from Mike Ferraro and Brandon Entis. Then Brandon Entis scores with an assist from Simon Pindar and Pat Gee. So... The Atlanta loses yet this one uh, five to two. So up next, um, oh, by the way, um, Cole CC was in debt for. Atlanta stopping 89.5%. Well, Michael Bullion, he stopped 17 um, with a 89.4 save percentage. And that will do it, ladies and germs. Speaking of germs, I've got some to kill. Um, but uh, have a very happy and safe new year. Um, I think tomorrow we're just graphicing the game due to John's health, and I am not going to be here. So um, I do believe tomorrow is a graphic, so please check out our Facebook page. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our like our Facebook page, subscribe to our YouTube channel, check out our Instagram, um, check out Hockey Locker, don't forget them. Um, and uh, also, don't forget, check out our teams that we support, the Admirals, the Preds, the Atlanta. Check out their team stores. Whether it be online or in person, check out their team stores. You never know what you're going to find. Always something cool. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I thank you all for watching. Um, I'm going to get this up so that John can go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> all righty. Later, y'all. See you uh, Wednesday? I don't even know what day. Tuesday. See you Tuesday.